Mr. Speaker, for lack of time, I will just zero in on my last issue that I want to bring to the attention of the House. Indeed, our report says that, that the committee requested the Youth Employment Agency to furnish us with the financial details of the sanitation model for the Youth Employment Agency. Mr. Speaker, the Youth Employment Agency pays the service provider, the private sector service provider, 600 CDs a month for each member, for each person employed. Mr. Speaker, there is a constitutional demand on this House to ensure equity. Indeed, the directive principles of state policy enjoins us to ensure justice, economic justice for Ghanaians. Mr. Speaker, after receiving 600 CDs per head from the Youth Employment Agency, the service provider pays the people working on this sanitation model 180 CDs a month out of the 600 received. Mr. Speaker, not only that, 120 CDs is appropriated by the service provider as management fee on each individual under the Youth Employment Sanitation Model. Mr. Speaker, as if that is not enough injustice perpetuated on the poor, 300 CDs out of the 600 is appropriated as logistics. Mr. Speaker, in all of our constituencies, when we wake up at dawn, we see the women, the downtrodden women who sweep our streets under this model. They receive 180 CDs, and the service provider charges 120 CDs on each head, every single person and again takes 300 CDs as logistics on each head, Mr. Speaker. Our coat of arms talks about freedom and justice. Where is the justice? Where out of 600 CDs, the beneficiary is paid only 180, and the service provider appropriates the rest in the name of the poor. Mr. Speaker, I will warn this house at the appropriate time to take up this issue. I thank you for the opportunity and I will support the adoption of the report subject to this house taking up the issue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, I have taken note of the contribution of the ranking member he has raised serious issues. I want to direct, and I hereby direct, that the Committee on Employment and Labor Relations should take up this issue and investigate it further.